Welcome guys to a new class. Today we have the lesson number 18 and in this lesson you have to describe things. That is the aim for today. And you are going to use the workbook page number 77. Now you have to open your workbook on page number 77. There you have five different activities. In the activity number one, you have to complete the phrasebook with the words in the box. To complete the phrasebook, you can get some help from the page number 15 from your student book. In the activity number two, you have to listen to three conversations and answer the questions. Listen very carefully. Unit one, page 77. Exercise 2 and Exercise 3 Conversation 1 Where are you from, Lara? I'm from Rio. I'm Brazilian. What's it like there? Rio is a very big city. Where are you from, Diego? I'm Colombian, from the capital city, Bogotá. It's a big city, too. Conversation 2 Nice party, Zach. What? Nice party. It's very noisy. But it's a lot of fun. Is this Brazilian music? Yes, it is. Nice. Conversation 3 What's your house like? It's a new house. I like it. What's your room like? It's small, but I like it. It's quiet. What color is it? Pink. I love pink. Now in the activity number three, you have to listen again to the dialogue and match the adjectives. Okay, from A to F, to the nouns from 1 until number 6. This activity is according to the dialogues, the three dialogues. Okay, let's continue with activity number 4. Here you have to listen and repeat, just repeat, these five questions from the conversations. You have to pay special attention to stress and intonation. Listen very carefully and repeat. Unit 1. Page 77. Exercise 4. 1. Where are you from, Diego? 2. Is this Brazilian music? 3. What's your house like? 4. What's your room like? Five. What color is it? And finally, here you have the activity number five. You have to read the example and write a similar conversation. This is the example. This dialogue between Eric and Anna. Eric says, what is your room like? And Anna says, it's not big. It's very quiet. And Eric says, what's in your room? And the answer is, my new laptop and big posters of my favorite band. Ok, ahora debemos escribir un diálogo muy similar a este, donde hay preguntas y respuestas. Preguntas y respuestas. Ok, acá me da pistas. La primera pregunta que debo hacer es acerca de este, mira, backpack, de una mochila. Entonces debo fijarme en el, en el ejemplo. La pregunta de Eric es, what is your room like? Entonces, por lo tanto, acá debería ser, what is your backpack like? Así. Y la respuesta debe ir acá, donde yo describo el color, en este caso, de la mochila. Y la otra pregunta que Eric hace es, what's in your room? ¿Qué es lo que hay dentro de la habitación? Pero acá no estamos hablando de la habitación, estamos hablando de la mochila. Entonces debo fijarme en el ejemplo y escribir algo similar acá. 
pero recuerden que estamos hablando de la mochila, ¿ok? Y finalmente debo describir qué cosas hay en la mochila, siguiendo el ejemplo de Eric Anana. So guys, this is the end of the class. I hope you didn't have any problems to complete the activity. I wait for you until the end of the class to give you some feedback if you want. Okay, see you there. Bye bye.